Hey guys, hope you are doing well. I want to talk to you about a shoot I did with my friend Sky. She is a Northern California model who I met in Los Angeles last year. We shot uh, kind of dark fashion stuff. I was still in my fashion studio, so I felt like this is something I wanted to have a portfolio of. Now that I don't have my fashion studio, I'm just more interested in making the kind of art that I want to see. And I also wanted to experiment with my new camera, which is the Lomo Instant Wide. It takes Instax wide film from Fuji. And so I went to San Francisco and uh, I got in touch with Sky maybe a week ahead. It wasn't like a super long um, process because we were familiar with each other. It was just like a couple emails back and forth. She picked a really cool spot, which is next to the Presidio in San Francisco. It's also next to the Golden Gate Bridge. So we had that as like a backdrop. It didn't show up in the photos, but it was kind of inspirational for me to have like this historical military site and uh, the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. So I'm going to turn it over to Sky though, because I feel like um, one of the things that we did cool on this shoot was we played with two different styling looks and the styling I left up to the model. She's a designer herself, so she had a bunch of leather goods, not my particular favorite uh, thing to shoot leather because mainly because I'm a vegetarian. But she also had a lot of black material, which works well with the kind of black and white shots that I like to do. And then she had some colorful stuff with neat textures and sequins, which uh, they have sparkle to them, obviously, but I use a star filter on my lens. So that sparkle added an extra special effect to some of what we did. So let me turn it over to Sky, and you can hear her opinion on how photographers should approach models regarding styling. Hi, I'm Sky, and I model and beautiful Northern California and Los Angeles, back and forth. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, when you work with somebody for the first time, it's always kind of a, a guessing game. You get to know each other, you look at each other's portfolios, and you can kind of have, have a feeling for what they vibe for, what they enjoy, based on just who they work with and the general mood of their imagery. But then once you actually interact with that person, shoot with them, get a feel for who they are behind the image, you kind of know more what you can bring and get away with and things that you know they can make work, whereas another photographer might not be able to create an image that vibes well with what you have. I would say that anything that doesn't look like what I have on right now is modeling stuff. This is all that I wear pretty much every day, just black jeans and a t-shirt. Anything beyond that that comes into my closet, I only keep for photo shoot purposes. Once I shoot it two or three times, I give it away, donate it, pass it on to the next model, next photographer, and it just makes its way around the photo shoot community. I've swapped with other models and photographers are constantly kind of giving things and you exchange and I, um, Personally, I don't really shop, especially for shoots. I do things strictly on a swap, donation, and kind of inheritance basis from friends and family. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews, and video art. Also, check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.